What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Tazzy Mike on the mic again and today I've got another tutorial for you. This is how to get multiple resets using stalls, how to get those triples, those quads, fencer resets from the wall and how to get them consistently and clean. Let's get right into it. So first off, you are going to need to know how to do one reset, which is basically like this. Um, get comfortable with knowing how to do a reset, get that pop. That's really what's important, that space each time. Make sure your car is flat, center of the bottom of the ball, so that you get that pop and, you know, the space you need to turn your car and get into the next position. So go watch my other flip reset tutorial if you haven't. It's all over all my social media, so you'll find it. It's somewhere. Um, but yeah, after you get that pop, the next step would be to do the turn. Um, to get a really consistent turn and get in the same position each time, I would suggest adding air roll right bind to your arsenal of things you can do on your controller. I have mine on R1. Um, I have my regular air roll on L1 with power slide, and I have L3, which is my left stick click on air roll left. You don't have to use those, but that's just what I use. A lot of people use square and R1 and or L1, whatever you want. But um, yeah, so as soon as I make impact with my stomach, I press air roll right just for a tiny bit, just for some stabilization. Um, I press it for a tiny bit, and then I use my regular air roll to turn my car and correct myself and basically get on my stomach again, because that's what you want. You want to be in the air like this, so that when you use your stall, you are kind of flat like that, so that, you know, you can get the, uh, the ball to pop right back up for even more resets. So let me show you guys how that looks again. You get the pop, a little bit of an air, little bit of the air roll right on impact that helps you stabilize. And then you correct yourself, boost only. This is kind of important because this will kind of hurt you if you don't do it right. Um, boost only when you're pointing towards the ball. There is some spinning required. Sometimes when you're spinning your car, you don't need to be boosting. You just need to spin so that you can, when you use your boost, you're boosting only towards under the ball. You need to focus that. Focus the, your stomach lining up with the center of under the ball each time. So as you can see, I get it, and then I, I turn, I boost a little bit, and I'm right under it. So uh, to get a consistent stall, let's get into the next step, which is the stalling itself. Um, how to do a stall, I'll do a quick tutorial here. You have to have arrow left bound to something. Then you move your analog stick to the right, or you can use arrow right, bind that to something, either one. Um, but if you're using arrow left, you would move your stick to the right like this, and then hold arrow left at the same time, and then just jump and you'll see your car will kind of freeze in the air. But you want more perfect stalls, and to do this, you're gonna need both air rolls bound because what happens is you press air roll left to stall, and then you press air roll right to correct that momentum. It allows you to freeze like that and do a perfect stall, which will look like what I'm doing right now. Um, that's how you get those clean pops right back into the sky to get you those quads, those penta resets. So you need to focus that. Um, focus canceling your stall so you can get it's gonna take a while to get used to that it's like a cheat code doing it over and over again but you'll get the <clears throat> you'll get the hang of it for sure um, yeah so once you get that perfect stall down on the ground now you know what to do when you get here when you get to the bottom of the ball you just need to perfect stall As you can see it pops right back up make sure that you're centered if you're not centered you'll see that it will go behind you or go somewhere else you want it to kind of go up and in front of you so you got to stay centered right under the ball and then you hit that perfect stall you see you kind of want it to go up again so that you can do more more resets you just rinse and repeat that spin like i said before arrow right on impact correct stall you know you're re you're ready for your next reset um you keep doing the same thing over and over like i said um it is a little scary to bind arrow right and left you're like dude i'm so comfortable with the normal one yeah, me too. I, I, I was also comfortable with the normal one, but that doesn't mean you stop using the normal one. You're just adding little corrections to your arrow rolls because arrow right and arrow left, they only go one way. It's very consistent, um, so it helps to, to have them both there. As you can see, you're, you're always going to focus on getting the center of your car to get multiple and multiple resets. It's going to take some practice, but I hope that this helped. That's really it 
after you get that down, you just need to learn how to convert that into a shot. You can use a musty reset. You can use, uh, not a reset, musty flick. Um, just a normal shot off the two, like a double. It's really up to you after there, but you just gotta work on it, keep practicing. You'll get those quads eventually. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Whatever you wanna see next, also let me know in the comments. I appreciate all your support. Let me know if this helped you. Um, and thank you. I will see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.